Mike Flanagan has received an abundance of praise for his horrifying Netflix series, and although he won't be making a third season for his haunting anthology at this point, his next series, The Fall of the House of Usher, is absolutely a strong replacement. The Usher crime family stands stronger and darker than ever before. Now, in 2016, Mike Flanagan came to prominence with his film Ouija, Origin of Evil, and in the intervening years, he has created some unforgettable Netflix horror projects such as Midnight Mass and The Midnight Club. However, what are arguably Flanagan's most terrifying horror shows are The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. Roderick Usher, your family. There is certainly a demand for a third season, however, Flanagan doesn't really plan on making it. Answering a fan's question on his Tumblr, Flanagan said, I'm much happier focusing on other things. And being that I'm no longer at Netflix, that ship has definitely sailed. Thankfully, fans aren't completely without their thrills as Flanagan's new Netflix series nears its release. I'm gonna head out. I've got an appointment with your dad. Mike Flanagan's The Fall of the House of Usher is a new series based on the story of the same name by Edgar Allan Poe. It follows siblings Roderick and Madeline Usher, heads of a lucrative pharmaceutical company that must face their dark past when their heirs begin dying. Roderick, what did you do? Though the series isn't part of the haunting franchise, the two definitely share very similar qualities that makes The Fall of the House of Usher certainly worth the watch for those who enjoy The Haunting of Hill House and The Haunting of Bly Manor. Ultimately, The Fall of the House of Usher is likely to be a home run for the filmmaker, and this will be an ideal way for him to end his time with Netflix before he moves on to Amazon Prime Video. Hey, it looks like Amazon's actually gonna deliver.